In this lesson, we'll be compositing our rendered passes. Okay, so let's go ahead and version up our comp here, just hitting Alt and the up arrow, and I'm gonna double click to open that comps node graph. And we'll go ahead and begin putting some passes in here. So first things first, I'm gonna unhook all of my 3D nodes and disable them because we don't need them for the time being. And we need to go ahead and bring in those rendered passes now that those are complete. So we'll right click and go to Import Files. And we'll just go into our Reference Files folder and go to Dragon Shot 3. All of these sequences we want to bring in. So select them all and open them up. And then we've also got a couple other things to bring in. We've got our Fire Breath and our Fire Column. And um, we also want to bring in that hole in the ground uh, JPEG there. We're going to be using that as well. Okay, so now that we have all of these in place, I'm going to control click these and drag them onto our node graph. Okay, so you see we've got this fire, we've got another little bit of fire here, and then we've got all these passes that are related to our dragon. So we're gonna start with the dragon passes first, so I'll just select all of those, and we're gonna bring them over here to the left of our node tree and begin merging them in. So I'm gonna start with my color and my alpha, and then we'll add those other three in here in a moment. So my color and my alpha, I need to get myself a shuffle copy node to use that to bring in that alpha channel. So anytime you're using a shuffle copy, you would want the alpha, um, just in a simple setup like this, you want the alpha coming in the one pipe and the color coming in the two pipe, and then you're merging onto the shuffle copy. And we'll go ahead and just dump that in through the red channel. So you can see now he looks like he's being cut out, but if I begin to go across my timeline, you can see he's not moving. And that's because the frames are not in the right place because these have been rendered zero through 251, and this is 151 through 402. So we need to add a time offset node. So I'm gonna hit tab and type in time. And we'll add that time offset here. And that's going to be 151, because that's the frame we're starting at. And then I'm going to clone this by hitting Alt-K and give that to the alpha as well. And now that looks much better. Okay, so I also have this little uh, ground shadow here, and I'm going to merge that in just before my dragon, because it's going to go kind of behind him on top of this building. So we'll add in another merge node just like this, and that's going to be a multiply, and we also want to use our time offset, so I'll hit Alt-K to clone that again. There we go, and you can see it's pretty dark, so we'll go in here, and I'm gonna add a blur to this ground shadow, and it's gonna be a pretty significant blur there, right there in, in around six, and this is getting kind of cramped up. I'm gonna give myself a little more room to work with there. Much better. And we can actually turn down the mix on that merge a little bit too, so it's just not quite so dark. Great, okay, now let's add our ambient occlusion. I'm going to just kind of get that in place and we'll hit tab and type in merge. You can also just hit the M key, that will work as well. And this ambient occlusion, I'm going to set the operation to multiply. And again, we'll hit Alt K to clone that time offset. And it's hard to tell what it looks like right away, so I'm gonna hit the D key so you can see 
that's what it looks like with and without that ambient occlusion. And that's definitely going to need some color correction to make it a little more apparent. Um, and then we've also got this B shadow, and that means building shadow. So what we have here is the, a building is casting a shadow onto the building that we're seeing, which would also affect the lighting of the dragon. So we're going to merge this in just like that. And I'll hit the one key to look at that merge. Again, we'll want to clone our time offset with an Alt K. And you can kind of see what this looks like now. This is also going to be a multiply. So it's way, way too dark, obviously. But we do see his little head kind of poking out right there along that edge where that shadow goes away. So what we need to do is key this over time. So I'm going to go back here to about frame... 200 or so this is kind of right as he's about to land and I'm going to take my merge for this and take the mix all the way down to zero and we'll set a key there and then if we go forward a little bit in time right around here at 224 we can begin to turn up that mix now I don't want to go too far I'm just going to come like kind of right in there to make him a little bit darker. So it does appear that he is moving more into the shadows as he kind of drops down, but it's not so, so much that it becomes um, overpowering or anything like that. So that's kind of why we're adding that in there. Now we're going to go in and add some color correction to this. Um, so Definitely, you can tell he looks a little bit too dark overall. He doesn't completely feel grounded because the ambient occlusion is not really working just right yet. So let's come back in the next lesson and we're going to be color correcting these passes and we'll also add some motion blur to our dragon. So stick around and we'll work on that in our next lesson.